everybody, it's me, Lala. Thanks for stopping by for the video. Happy Saturday, everybody. It is Saturday. It is April 27th, the last Saturday in April. Another month has flown by. It certainly has, friends. It is 2024. It certainly, certainly is. And we are going to work it out at the sink. We certainly are. So if you have anything on your mind, weighing on your mind, get your supplies together and work it out with me. That's what we're going to do today. We certainly are. Now, as always, as a tradition here at Lily Bug Lane, I do have a YouTube channel recommendation. The YouTube channel is called Max Velocity Severe Weather Center. Now, this is very similar to Ryan Hall Y'all and an excellent, excellent weather channel on YouTube, okay? We cannot rely on mainstream weather men to get it right. So we have to go to independent <laughs> weather men to get it right. And max velocity, severe weather center is an excellent, excellent channel to try to check out if you would like to. Now we all love Ryan Hall, y'all. This is just an alternative and Max is Max Velocity is very good also. Okay, Lala, enough of this. Let's get to it. We need to clean this sink. We certainly do. As always, we are using soft scrub. Why? Let's all say it together. Because we love the bleach. We certainly do. And this is, um, I'm still working through this. So we did buy another one last night. We are going to use Blue Dawn. Because we always go back to the one we love, don't we? We certainly do. And the blue skies are trying to come out here at Lily Bug Lane today. And of course, lemon time! Now let me tell you something. This little lemon has been sitting on the counter all morning. We are approaching the 1 o'clock hour. We are right at 12.45. Has been sitting out on the counter. This little lemon was hiding in the fridge in the fruit basket, and I found it. So we are going to use this lemon. So there we go. There we go. Let's get to it, Lala. Enough of the chit chat. Enough of the introductory chit chat, I should say, right? <laughs> right. So I hope everybody's doing well today. I hope that you are all happy, healthy, and safe. I certainly do. This cherry goes over there. We're going to run this for a few minutes because you know, you know how I hate the cold water. So, it's been a while since we've been together at the sink. I hope that all of you have been keeping your sinks neat and tidy. I hope that if anything has been weighing on your minds, that you have done your therapy at the sink. That's what we do here at Lily Bug Lane, right? Right. Because let me tell you something. Number one, it's free. And number two, it works. You can pray. You can cry. You can say cursy words. You can sing songs in your head. <clears throat> you can talk to yourself in your head. It doesn't matter. It all works out in the end. It certainly, certainly does. Here we go. Here we go. So, we had a storm this morning. We certainly did, which was fabulous. We had lots of thunder here at Lily Bug Lane and a little bit of rain. But here's the funny part. Five minutes down the road, five minutes down the road, it rained like a banshee. It certainly did. Chewy, oh, we got a new sponge. Look at that. Nice new sponge. Chewy knows how to take care of us, doesn't he? He certainly does. He certainly does. So anyway, so 
I thought I was hearing thunder, but I wasn't really sure. And I said to Louise, who was home for overnight, because we brought some of her dorm stuff home, since graduation is coming up, we are starting to move some of her dorm things home, little by little. And um, so she came home last night and brought some of her stuff home with her. And um, I thought I was hearing thunder. And I said to Louise, do you hear thunder? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, so, yes, it was thunder. And it got louder, and it got louder, and it got louder. And finally, I looked at the radar, and sure enough, we were having a storm come through. But we didn't get, we didn't get a lot of rain. We just got like maybe... 10 drops of rain, right? So, Chewy goes to the gym, which is five minutes down the road, and he comes home and he says, holy cow, he says, it was raining cats and dogs at the gym. He said it looked like a river going down the street, actually. So, anyway, so we had a storm this morning, which was absolutely fabulous, right? Absolutely fabulous. I would much rather have a storm during the day when it's daylight rather than a storm at night when you can't see the sky, right? Now, Ryan Hall was live for eight over eight hours last night. There was horrendous storms and tornadoes in Nebraska, in Kansas, in Iowa. So he was covering that, and I was popping in and out of his live stream last night and he will be live again today because they are expecting more bad weather they certainly are oh let me say this i hope before we started the sink that you went to the restroom and that you ran the garbage disposal two very important things to do before you start your sink therapy okay so anyway so yeah so he was live for a very long time last night and he raised a lot of money for the y'all squad which is what he that's his nonprofit organization that helps people very quickly helps people that have had weather disasters in their areas and um, he had weather storm chasers out. It was a very, very good stream. He kept right on it. And he's got a lot of help. So let me tell you something. He is much better than Al Roker any day of the week. He certainly is. So I don't even think Al Roker does weather anymore. Of course, I don't think he ever did weather. But that's just me. So... Let me tell you something. It's a little bit difficult to use a brand new sponge because it's not as pliable. You know what I mean? So, but it is nice to use a new sponge because that means it's nice and scrubby, if that makes any sense at all. So thank you everyone for joining me for Circle Time on Wednesday. I appreciate that very much. We had taken a couple of weeks off, and uh, I appreciate you all very much. Dropping in and getting back into the routine of circle time. I'm hoping while we are doing the sink here that the sun will pop out. I do see patches of blue sky. I certainly do. But unfortunately, the sun needs to take charge. It's 63 degrees here at Lilybug Lane. Look at that mat. <whistles> Who doesn't love a clean mat? Everybody loves a clean mat. There we go. So anyway, so thank you so much. Thank you for your comments on Circle Time. As always, as always here at Lilybug Lane. I want you to feel free to leave a comment. I certainly, certainly do. Okay? 
Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you're not thinking. Tell me what's on your mind. Tell me what's not on your mind. I don't care. Get it off your chest. It is, they are words. They are just words, okay? They're not gonna hurt you. They're not gonna cause you pain. They're not gonna traumatize you. Get them off your chest. If it makes you feel better, get them off your chest. Oh, guess who's in the kitchen? The boys. So if you hear any craziness, that's the Banshee boys. It certainly is. Can I tell you how much I love this? I am so glad I got this. And I keep the Dawn on it, and I keep the hand lotion on it here at the sink. So that's very, very nice to have. It just keeps it off the counter, you know what I mean? So, oh, we bought some more flowers yesterday. We did, we went for our Friday fun night, and we went to Joanne Fabrics, which was a complete fail, was a complete fail. I was so disgusted, I was so disgusted. I may have said some cursy words coming out of Joanne Fabrics because I was so disgusted. I have not been in Joanne Fabrics in years, years, okay? I went in there to try and see if I could find a pattern to possibly make myself some dresses for summertime, right? Yeah, well, that didn't happen. That did not happen. And I became very disgusted and very angry, and I may have said some cursy words while I was leaving Joanne Fabrics. Not in my head, out loud, okay? And um, so that was a fail. Then we went to Goodwill, okay? That was, I would say, a semi-success because I did find a few things, and I will share them with you in a video um, that I will uh, have out on Monday. It's just a few things, and but they're good things. <laughs> and uh, then we went to Lowe's. We did, because guess what? Lowe's has all their flowers out. So, of course, the early bird gets the worm, right? So, I wanted to get some African daisies because those are some of our favorite flowers here at Lilybug Lane to have in the summertime. They're beautiful, and if you keep them deadheaded enough, they will bloom and bloom and bloom, okay? So, I wanted to get some African daisies, and we did. We got straight purple, and then we got two variegated baskets of African daisies. So, Larry, I'm going for a lot of paper towels today, bud. Going for a lot of paper towels. Feels like a paper towel kind of a day, doesn't it? It does. Um, so anyway, so we got some African daisies. So we're getting flowers a little bit at a time. As we see them, Chewy said, let's just go ahead and get them. Let's not wait because, um, you know, they might not be here. And we don't know exactly how stocked up these places are going to be with their flowers and everything. And you know what I think is funny? You know, you get these people that are bitching because their 16-ounce can of Bush's Baked Beans at the Dollar Tree is no longer a dollar. It's now a dollar twenty-five. So they're bitching about that. Well, let me tell you what has really gone up, okay? Flowers have really gone up. The price of flowers. So we have a lot of perennials here at Lilybug Lane. We do. We have a lot of perennials. And something has stained this sink. And I think it may have been something that Chewy was doing in the sink that stained the sink. But there are stain marks on this stainless steel that are not coming off. And it probably was some kind of chemical he was using to clean something. And he cleaned it here at the sink. So, oh my gosh. Have you ever seen that prank where they put the rubber band right here? And then the person turns on the water and it sprays them. That's what just happened. So anyway, so we got some flowers. Super de duper excited about that. Certainly excited. It is time for Dawn. 
It certainly is. Look at that cute little duckling right there. I know. So cute. So cute. So anyway, so yeah, so we got some flowers and I guess Chewy has decided we are just going to pick them up as we see them and keep them out in the garage or keep them out on the patio under the cupcake tree, which you all remember is our lilac tree, which can I tell you has so many blooms, blossoms, buds on it. It's going to be a fabulous, fabulous season. Um, our dogwoods out front, you all know we have a pink dogwood and we have a white dogwood. They are blooming right now and look absolutely beautiful. So we are excited about that. You know, the dogwood is one of my favorite flowering trees. It is also the state tree of Virginia, which is my home state where I was born and bred. So... Um, there's a lot of trees that are starting to get their leaves and stuff here. Um, something that's very popular here are tulip trees. I don't know if you all have ever seen a tulip tree. Very, very pretty, but let me tell you something. Filthy, dirty when the blooms fall off. And the blooms don't last very long on tulip trees. They certainly don't. And if you let the if you let the tulip petals fall onto the ground and they stay there, they start to stink. They start to stink to high heaven. It's gross. It is. Now, one of you, I'm sorry I can't recall, told me that you take out your um, ring out of your uh, garbage disposal. I find that very, very interesting, and I'm not going to do that, though, because I wear false nails, and I don't want to rip one of my nails off, but just remember to get down there underneath that, those rubber flaps, because why? We don't want stinky, and that's where the stinky lives. That's where the stinky lives. So... Um, I mentioned in circle time that I had had a dermatology appointment and Linda, who is one of our circle friends, she is a woman of few words. <laughs> we love her, don't we? We do. We love you, Linda. She wanted to hear more about my dermatology appointment. Well, it was a dermatology appointment, so... <clears throat> I, a year ago, was diagnosed with stage two rapid growth cancer on my leg. I had a, an operation on my leg and had to be seen every three months um, after that to make sure that the cancer had not returned. I took three rounds of localized chemotherapy in my leg, which was not through the bloodstream. So that's why I went ahead and um, agreed to do it because it did not go into my bloodstream. It was just localized in the area of the cancer that had been removed. And uh, so then I had to be seen every three months. And this particular appointment was my one year mark for the procedure being done on my leg. And I had a full body check again and had a CA-125 blood test done, which I had had done every three months following my diagnoses. And so we will wait to see what that comes back. I'm not worried about it at all because my other ones have come back perfectly clean. So now what will happen is, is I will go to six months, um, every six months being seen 
for two years and then I will go to one year and then once I hit the five year mark, I will be, it will be considered a cure, cured cancer. Now, the, prob, the thing with this particular cancer that I had been diagnosed with last April was this was not sun related skin cancer. This was a different type of skin cancer or different type of cancer that was on my skin. So that's why um, I went to see the dermatologist and that's why it was taken care of um, through the dermatologist was because it presented on my skin but was not related to sun exposure or anything like that. So, so that's what my dermatology is. I was going every three months and now, and now I will go every six months for two years and then every month, every year until I hit the five year mark. And I had to fill out a bunch of paperwork for the American Cancer Society so that they could track um, my progress and my treatment and everything and I could statistically be um, included in this particular cancer, the, 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 the particular cancer, cancer statistics that they have. So, so everything went fine and uh, yeah, so I did not start going to see a dermatologist until four years ago um, and I had gone initially because I had a place up on my arm that I knew what it was. I knew that it was basal cell uh, carcinoma. I knew that. And um, so I went and of course it was, I had to have a Mohs procedure on my arm and it was taken care of very, very easily. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, I never had any, <laughs> I have a theory. I have a theory as to what happened and, you know, why I all of a sudden needed to go to the dermatologist, but anyway, so yeah, so um, I'm 57 and Chewy is approaching 60, he's still in his 50s though, but... We do go to see the dermatologist. He goes once a year still. So anyway, lemon time. I hope that helped. I hope that helped. I don't know if it did or not, Linda. Let me know. But, um, you know, it's, I have theories. I have theories. Because if you look back, and again, I say this all the time. Look at this juicy, juicy lemon. Can you see that juice? Woo! Love it. Oh, there went a pip. There went three more. This has a very thin rind. There's another pip. Um, if you look back in the 70s, skin cancer wasn't a thing. It wasn't. Go look. Go look at the numbers of skin cancer. Back in the 70s. That's my, you know, that's my reference point is looking backwards. And, uh, you know. So anyway, so we, so Chewy goes once a year. And I'll be going twice a year now for the next two years. And um, just a full body check. Um, I keep my bra and underwear on. I do not let her put her hands through my hair or check my scalp. I can, I'm more than capable of doing that on my own. And uh, I blame my father 100% for this skin cancer issue that I am now having because he is riddled with skin cancer. So, you know, we can never take personal responsibility for our issues. We have to put it on somebody else. So I'm putting it on my dad. 
and he's more than he's more than okay with bearing that burden. <laughs> so he just had a procedure done um, on him, and I know quite a few of you have had procedures done, skin cancer procedures done. Um, so it's very common. It's very common. So. I guess we're paying the price for um, all of the baby oil and the iodine and, you know, that we used when we were younger, because that's what I did. Uh, that's what I did when I was younger. And uh, she told me, she said, when I went there this past time, she said, now remember, she said, uh, use sunscreen 30 or higher. And I said, nope. And she looked at me funny, and she said, what? And I said, no. Nope. I said, because I started using sunscreen with an SPF in it four and a half years ago, and look where I'm at now. In the last four years, I have had two major skin cancer issues. So, no, I'm not going to do that. And she's like, well, I said, well, so I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not going to directly sit out in the sun all day long. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something. One of my most vivid memories of my grandfather, my dad's dad, okay, which would be my grandfather Smith was Tropical Blend Coconut Oil. He had it out in the garage, and he would put that on himself, and I can just, re I just remember the smell of the coconut oil, suntan lotion, Tropical Blend, and he would just get so dark. And I just, that's one of my most vivid memories of him, is that Tropical Blend. He had it in the, on the shelf in the garage. And he always had like a flat top haircut. I, know, I don't know if, I, most of you know what that is. And he would just put it in his hand and just rub it all over him. <laughs> Certainly would. Yeah, I don't know what these spots are in this sink here. I'm quite sure we've gone over 30 minutes. I know, I know, I know. I like to chat. It's been a while, friends. It's been a while. I think we might. <laughs> I don't know how easy this would be, though. I think we might have a sat uh, Saturday at the sink where we just don't say anything. It's silent the entire time. Except for the introduction and the outro, right? That would be a that would be a real test for me, wouldn't it? To not say anything the entire sink cleaning. Whew. Of course I'd be talking to myself in my head. And I'd be answering myself too. Certainly would. Oh, I've been listening to some good podcasts. <whistles> Certainly have. Okie dokie, pokies. Let's wrap it up, shall we? Shall we wrap it up for the day? I hope wherever you are, your weather is good. I hope you're enjoying the weather wherever you are. I certainly do. Now that it's getting warmer, we can get out in the yard, in nature. We can take walks in our neighborhoods. Make sure that if you are taking walks in your neighborhood and you pass by people, just give them a wave and a hello, right? Because that's the friendly thing to do. So just give a wave and a hello. You'd be surprised. You might meet a new friend. So, look at that nice new sponge. Isn't that beautiful? 
That is beautiful. It's got a little bit of a, there we go. That is beautiful, isn't it? It is. Okay, Miss Cherry, come on over here. You're doing a bang up job. You certainly are. I'm so glad I found you. I certainly am. How do we look, friends? Do we look shiny and new? Or do we look at least shiny? I have no idea what those stains are in this side well of the sink. I'm thinking it was some kind of chemical that Chewy might have used when he was doing something at the sink and didn't tell me because they didn't come out when I washed them. So stainless steel is not indestructible as far as stains and scratches and stuff go. I do love stainless steel though. You know me and the wiping down, right? You got to keep wiping it down, especially right here. Still bothers me. So anyway, so, you know, make sure you go to the dermatologist and get your skin checked if you need to. You know, it's not something that, I mean, you could go to your general practitioner and he could, uh, he could refer you, but I mean, you know, it's not for, it's not something that you have to do if you don't have issues, right? And we all pretty much know if we have issues or not, right? Right. Okay, let's get, let's get our, I did pretty good, Larry, with the paper towels. I met my goal, met my goal. Chewy likes to have a paper towel here by the sink. It's exactly what we're going to do. There's my paper towel usage, Larry. Look at that. Excellent, right? Excellent. And guess what? They're going to biodegrade in the trash. They certainly are. Now, if I was a real tree hugger and I was a real granola, hairy, armpitted woman... I would hang these up and let them dry and reuse them, right? But I'm not that woman, okay? So you hug a tree for the both of us, okay? Love that tree for the two of us. But these are going in the trash. They certainly are. Let's look. Let's look. Ooh, I love it. I do love it. It looks very, very nice. Thank you all so, so much for spending this time with me. Today, Saturday at the sink, Saturday at the sink. I hope that you all have a great, great rest of the weekend. If you would like to join us on Wednesday, May 1st, that'll be the first day of May, please join us here at Lilybug Lane live on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for Circle Time. I hope you have enjoyed this time together as much as I have, because I have certainly enjoyed it. Are we ready? I think we're ready. I hope you are happy. I hope you are happy. I hope you are healthy. Take your zinc every day. It is up to us. And I hope you are safe. I certainly, certainly do. Keep an eye on Ryan Hall, y'all, today. And check out Max Velocity Severe Weather Center to keep you up to date for any severe weather that is coming in your area. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Have a great rest of the weekend.